Every aircraft carrier has some form of protective gear to withstand terrible storms. On the flight deck, there are thousands of holes on the surface. They're numerous, and it's impossible not to wonder why they're there and what they're used for. The weather at sea can change in seconds, and that's why ships or any vessel traveling via the sea must have certain features that will help them stay afloat. Terrible sea weather or storms have capsized thousands of ships and boats. Some sea mishaps were so terrible that the ship tore into pieces. The vessel is specifically built to carry aircraft on the sea. It comes with a flight deck where machines are arranged for takeoff. The deck also serves as the landing area for aircraft. The flight deck is known as a miniature airfield at sea. There are naval ships with aviation as their primary duty, so they need flight decks like this. These ships, also called air-capable ships, come in various sizes and for different purposes. The smaller ships with smaller flight decks are used to cater to helicopters and other vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. On all flight decks, there are thousands of holes that we're curious about. Irrespective of the flight deck used on a naval ship, the risk of accidents at sea is still high, and that's where these holes come in. To save the planes from slipping into the sea when a turbulent storm arises, to keep the aircraft afloat, regardless of the tides at sea, their holes are there to hook them down. Like the anchor that moors the ship to land, the holes moor the aircraft to the deck. Chains strong enough to keep an aircraft from flying into the air are used to tie the jet fighters down so that they remain in place in case a storm befalls the crew. And that's not all. This protective feature has another use according to naval officers. The holes, also called pad eyes, are used as targets for the toss the tie downs game. This game usually comes up when there's aircraft repositioning on the ship. The object is to show how precisely the tie down chain can be thrown to quickly lock the hook into the tie down pad's crossbar. Pilots with bunks below the deck hate the game as it causes them to have an endless and unnecessary headache. They say it's too loud. Workers responsible for maintaining the surface of the flight deck also dislike this game. Also, as a safety measure, the dots are countermeasure washdown and AFFF nozzles in case of a fire on deck. There are different designs of flight decks available. A flight deck is either angled or it is built like a ski jump. This deck features an angled separate runway from the center line. It is built for jets with higher speeds. This type of deck is also called a skewed deck, canted deck, angled deck, or waist angled deck. The aft part of the deck is usually widened and the runway starts at an angle from the center line. The second design is the ski jump, whose runway is angled in an upward motion. The deck is not necessarily built with a permanent upward curve. The curve is formed with a curved ramp placed at the end of the flight deck. This structure is mainly for heavier aircraft for safer takeoff. The aircraft will start its flight with a positive rate of climb on this type of flight deck. By some physics calculators of velocity and balance, the aircraft is expected to attain faster and safer balance after takeoff from a flight deck like this if the end is curved that way. The aircraft will experience a decline in gravity as it ascends but will continue to accelerate after leaving the flight deck. The aircraft attains stable flight as soon as velocity demises to zero. Now you know why there are thousands of holes on a flight deck. Let me know what your previous assumptions of these holes were in the comment section. And as you already know, like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. And to my repeat viewers, thanks for always coming back for this amazing content. If you're new here, I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye for now.